Welcome to DK Oldies. We're a small family run business here in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. We specialize in retro gaming, retro games, accessories, and systems. So while we're not necessarily a retail store, we do allow locals to stop in and pick something up if you'd like. So come on, I'll give you guys a tour. Okay, so over here is our Atari section. This is some of the oldest games that we've got. As we continue along, our Game Boy section. You have Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color, Original, and some Game Gear games. And Pokemon titles are so popular they get their own box. And as we head along, here's our Genesis area. Sonic, Sonic 2, always real popular. Down here we get into our Nintendo 64 games. Actually, let's stop for one second. Sure. This right here. Virtual Racer at the time came out at 100 bucks, and the reason why was because it had the Sega's Virtual Processor, which was a direct response to Super Nintendo's Super FX chip. Now, Sega at one point when the Super FX chip came out said, and I quote, Nintendo would like you to believe that by adding chips into their cartridges, they'll be saving you money. If Donkey Kong Country priced at $69.99 is any indication of their money that they're saving you, it's a good thing they're not a game company and not your banker. Down here we have our Nintendo 64 games. GoldenEye is always real popular. Diddy Kong Racing. Yep. Mario Kart, Super Mario, and the Pokemon titles do real well as well. Snap, Stadium, Stadium 2, and Ocarina of Time, of course. Down here. Ah, you even have the gold one. Yep, gold cartridge as well, and uh, holographic Majora's Mask. Yeah, those are great. The collector's edition and the holographic, there's a difference. Look at it in different ways. That's pretty cool. It's one of the only Zeldas I never bought for that system. Down here starts our Nintendo NES area. This is the system that I grew up with. And I'll point out some of my favorite games here. Dr. Mario, my sister yep. and I played that a lot. Excite Bike was another one of my yep. favorites. And Legend of Zelda, gold cartridge here. We also have some Mega Man titles. Mega Man 1. And our Mario titles, Mario 1, 2, and 3. Three was probably my favorite of those. Tecmo Bowl, Tecmo Super Bowl, and the Turtles titles always do real well also. <laughs> yeah, Down those here, are good games. This starts our Super Nintendo area. Donkey Kong Country, two and three. Those are real popular. Killer Instinct, Earthworm Jim, Star Fox, and of course, Super Mario World, Kart. Those always do real well too. Yep. Now down here, this starts our complete area of games. So the complete is gonna have the original box that it came in, the manual, any artwork that was originally included with it. We have GameCube completes here, Mario Kart Double Dash, Super Mario Sunshine and Smash Melee. And now starts our Genesis completes. Aladdin, one of my favorites. Mine too. Genesis completes continue on over here. Sonic 2 and 3. And now we'll start getting into PlayStation 1 completes. We have a few DS games. PS2 completes here. As we continue along, Wii games are here. And we have some Xbox and Xbox 360 titles. And then our completes finish up right here on this side. Here we have some Nintendo 64 completes, original NES, and Super Nintendo. And then down these aisles, we have all of our accessories laid out. So here's our Atari section. You can see we've got some Atari controllers. Moving on into our GameCube. We have original GameCube controllers. And Genesis continues up this side. Genesis AV, power cords. And then we start to get into our Nintendo 64 area where we have original controllers in a variety of colors. And we also have some of these new replica controllers <laughs> in a variety of colors as well. And if you head down this way, this is kind of where some more of our collector's items are. So we have empty boxes for Nintendo 64 empty boxes for the original NES and Super Nintendo. 
Mm -hmm. We've got empty boxes for um, Genesis games. And then empty boxes for GameCube. And we have a few strategy guides, Nintendo Power magazines, and a small selection of some t-shirts that we've got too. <laughs> Very nice. And then one more thing over here. We do have a large selection of games for a variety of different platforms. Do have some maps also as well. Right over here in this area, we have all of our systems laid out. So here you can see we have Genesis, Model 1, 2, and 3. We have some Game Boy handhelds here, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. And here's original Game Boy. We don't often see the original yellow color. And GameCube systems, here's the Pokemon XD system. We have purple, black, silver. Over here we have our Ataris, we have uh, 2600, and we also have a couple juniors. You know any Darth Vader's? Ah, there's one right there. Hmm. Darth Vader's the one that's all black. Okay, okay. It was the first one to use the 2600 moniker. Okay, neat. Um, Dreamcast here, and the original Nintendo, and now Nintendo 64 systems, with some colored systems in here as well. Mm -hmm. And then right behind us, we finish up here, we've got some Super Nintendo systems. And finishes up with PlayStations, Xboxes, and Wii's. There you go. Very nice. All right, so just a quick note about the Genesis. So several different revisions. The first uh, major revision was the fact that they took off the high definition gaming which we pointed out in an earlier video. Now, one of the ways to tell a good Model 1 from a bad Model 1 is the fact that the connections are pushed over to the left. So this one, also a non-high definition Genesis, has the connections on as far to the right as it could possibly go. And this part right here is where the EXT port used to be. So the fact that that's no longer there is kind of moot because they never actually used the port. But when you combine the two, you look at them like this side by side, you can see a pretty significant difference. Now, the reason why I say the good ones versus the bad ones is because the uh, sound chip was changed and not for the better. So if you look at those and then compare it to the Model 2s, the Model 2s come in two variants as well. Well, there's several other subtle differences, but the main difference is you can tell the bottoms where the motherboards are either full or three quarters. Now, the full boards almost universally use the uh, the same sound chip as the as the Model One Genesis. The half boards have been modified, and they don't sound quite as bad. Now, uh, what makes your company different than, say, any other company that we can go to at any given time? Sure. One of the things that makes us unique here at DK Oldies is that all of our product is cleaned and tested before it gets shipped out. That way when it arrives for the customer, it's going to be clean and guaranteed to work for years to come. We also offer a 120 day free warranty. These are all things that you're not normally going to get from your average eBay seller. And a uh, personal note, I asked for a very specific Model 2 Genesis and they actually took the time to take them apart and look at the specific chips for me. Yep, so, we're happy to help you out, Jason. So that is uh, definitely something that, that I appreciate. J Prime here, and I just wanted to do a follow-up on my trip to DK Oldies. Now, I emailed Joey, and I asked him the following questions. What does DK stand for? Have the requests for retro gaming increased, or have there been slumps or even a decline? What do you see as the future for retro gaming? Do you think it is a fad or something sustainable? And then finally I asked him, when you were a child did you ever imagine that you would one day be part of the video gaming industry? Alright, so Joey got back to me and he answered the questions in order. Now the D and the K, which I originally thought, I had no proof to, or basis to 
understand that this was, in fact, what I thought it to be, but I thought it was Donkey Kong, actually, because Nintendo used to abbreviate Donkey Kong as DK. But as it turns out, it's actually Drew and Kate, who are the founder, husband, and wife team. The answer to the next question, the amount of orders we receive has steadily increased year over year. Christmas is a huge time for retro gaming as parents want to introduce their children to games they loved when they were younger. Father's Day is another big holiday for gaming as kids see a retro system as a perfect present for their gamer dad. Hit point. Hint, hint. The third question, retro gaming is definitely here to stay. People love revisiting their favorite childhood games as well as seeing where all their favorite series like Final Fantasy, Metroid, Super Mario Brothers got their start. The older games are great for kids too because while today's controllers had with dual thumbsticks and tons of buttons can be difficult to understand, the original NES controller only has a directional pad and two buttons. Also retro games, those particularly from Nintendo are very kid friendly and lack the mature content. Well, except for Conquer, but that was developed by Rare. So, and the final question I asked him about him when he was a younger person about working in the video game industry, he said, When I was younger, I never imagined I'd be working in the video game industry, but it's a really a blast. We have all had a great time here, and it's also quite fulfilling to know my hard work helps someone else out there revisit their favorite childhood games. And coming from personal experience, the, the company definitely lives up to that. They are extremely responsive to emails, they're extremely responsive to weird requests. I, I know this firsthand with my uh, particular Genesis, and uh, I can't recommend them enough. So that's it for today, and uh, thank you, and uh, we'll see you soon.